Hi everybody, just a quick video of how we take our eggs. This is our first egg clutch of the year. Um, so we start with, this is a six litre tub, um, a wham tub, they're quite cheap. There's links on our Facebook page for these if, if you want any. Um, and we, see, we just use waste pipe, inch and a half waste pipe, cut it into sort of 30 mil sections or something. And we put put them in there. We used to try silicone them in because they float about a little bit when you get the water in, but the silicone don't take to it, so we just uh, do this. The next part is egg crate, uh, which you can find on eBay. Obviously, cut it down to the size of your tub. Put that in on top of them. The next part is this is what's beer matting. To put glass on uh, for glass shelving and stuff like that for um, glasses in pubs and stuff. See, again, you can get it in eBay, but it's flexible. And what that does, it just seals the edges um, for when the eggs are in, so the the eggs, the snakes can't get down into the water or onto this egg crate because the egg crates kind of sharp edges. Um, and then I've already got some warm water, um, which is. which is at 35 but by the time I put it in in the tub it'll, it'll yeah it, it'll, it'll be about 32 by the time I've messed about um, so we just pour that in and I know a cup full of that takes the water level up to about sort of five mil below the bottom of the egg crate so there's no water can get onto the eggs at all um so already that's that's dropped to 31 um which ain't bad you know it was it's just below 32 oh there you go th 32 so it's about perfect for the um for the snake so now we'll take take the eggs this is a spider spark and she's been to our world's first Hidden Gene Warmer Entry Pastel Freeway. This is a five gene boy um, because obviously the pastel, the freeway is yellow belly ash felt. So I'm just going to take the paper out so, so you can see it better. And then we just gently uncoil them, trying not to disturb the eggs, of course. You can't help. Them. No, no, you're right. So that was quite easy actually. Um, and then we'll we'll check her for for any retained eggs, which she hadn't, you can see that straight away. She's totally empty. Um I'll pop her in a clean drawer for now. You're good, you know, aren't you? You're good, you're good Um and then what we'll do with her is we'll we'll give her a good bath, wash her Wash her completely and and the tub once we've taken the eggs because you don't want any residue of, of the egg smell on her or in the tub because she won't start eating again. She'll just think she's on, on her eggs and you won't get a feeding. So once you've taken the eggs, wash the female really well, disinfect all the tub really well, put her back in and you should better start getting a feeding. We, we sometimes fit, find that they'll feed first on jumbo mice of all things, steamed of course. Um, I mean, you know, obviously try your rats first, but if they don't, jumbo jumbo mice seem to do the trick to get them going, and then and then on the rats next time. So seven. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven and a slug underneath. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll we'll pull these apart if we can. Just because they fit in the um, in the tubs better, but if, if the if the two stuck, don't don't rip them, um, and you've got to be very careful that you don't turn these eggs. Um, now that one's a bit too stuck because um, she's laid these till the night, and it's it's what time is it now? Ten to ten to eight. Um, in the morning, so that that one will come apart. But 
Love it. That one probably won't. In That's fact, I'm just going to put them as, as they are um, because I don't want to risk tearing any. But if they do come apart, it's, it's you know, it's kind of thingy, but we don't want that slugging. So that's that's what people class as slugs. Um, you can see it's a non-viable egg. Um, you know, there's no point in trying that whatsoever. But if there's any white on them at all, or you get odd-shaped ones that are called boob eggs, just try them. I mean, that, even if I put that in, if that were in the middle, and I couldn't get it off, it's not going to do any harm. It might, it might sort of turn furry and discolored and everything else in, in time but it's not going to affect any healthy eggs so if you get an egg while while you're in incubation if you get an egg that's a dud um don't worry about it if you can take it out fine take it out but if it's in a in a clutch don't worry about leaving it it is not going to affect a healthy egg in any shape or form no matter how much it looks bad or, or anything else so so you know a healthy eggs and healthy egg and nothing's going to affect it so we'll just nicely place them in there they're not going to roll about because they're all wedged against each other if, if, if i only had a couple then i might put something at each side to stop them rolling about that's all but and that's it that's that's as simple as that and then the lid goes on with no air rolls in in the tub at all um it, it, it's sealed um we put a sticker on telling us the date she's laid the date she's due what female it is what male's been to her we we know it's hidden gene warmer pasolentia asphalt sort of thing um and she's had what were it seven, seven eggs seven healthy eggs yeah seven eggs and we just put the sound on there so we know when we're looking at incubator without having to open the door that that's how many we sort of um expecting and then we just stick that on under the tub and we're done and we're done and we've put it in the uh, incubator okay. so hope that's been all right hope you've enjoyed that thank you bye bye